everybody on Rested here and today is another day of doing a J-Vlog here while I'm at the mall. People are asking me, have you been kicked out of your house? And it's, uh, no, I'm not kicked out of my house. I'm on the move here and I come into a mall that's close to where I work at my executive office for my uh, art job and I go ahead and record just a little bit of a vlog before I start my work day because it's one of the few places that has air conditioning before my office opens up. Um, so that's what I'm here doing because right now it's super hot in Japan. So uh, just to touch on one quick topic that uh, was in the news recently, as of yesterday it's been discovered that 81,000, 81,000, that's 81K, 81,000 crimes have been covered up by the Osaka police um, over the past uh, few years. And uh, people wrote to me yesterday, a couple people wrote to me asking, is this really true? Would they really try to do that there in Japan, cover up all that crime? And the answer, yeah, welcome to the country that's full of giant rugs and giant brooms to sweep the dirt under them. A lot of stuff's covered up in Japan. I think if any of you can remember, not too long ago we had the Olympus scandal, and that's where a bunch of top-level executives were burning the books in order to make it look like they were earning more than they were, and when they had hired another consultant outside of the country, he pretty much exposed all that and those people are going to jail now. It, that, that happens quite a bit. It's, like I've said before, just as corrupt as any other country. Um, my country, just as much as, you know, corruption is there, just as much problems are there, probably more crime, way more crime. Um, probably the crime is still much, much lower here in Japan. But it's not perfect. <laughs> And that's why I'm always really surprised when people write to me and are like, is it really true that people would try to hide crime there in Japan and sweep a problem under the rug? Yes, yes, it's, it's very possible, it's, it's very true. And um, something like 10% of crimes have gone unreported last year, including robberies and even as bad as murder. So, sad but true, a lot of stuff pushed under the rug. I would say in a lot of developing countries and uh, first world countries, this kind of thing happens. I I'm sure it happens in America too. I'm sure quite a, a lot of stuff goes unreported by the police or people just not doing their job. And, and this is in any sector. I'm not saying police don't do their job. I'm just saying there's people who are lazy or try to cover stuff up in their jobs. It just happens, man. It's just part of the corruption that is humanity. Um, Nothing much you can do about that. But anyway, uh, in other news, as far as a post I made yesterday concerning uh, people working for the Unrest team or for helping me uh, start some of my own projects that I'm working on, such as my website on jvloggers.com and managing kind of the forums and stuff in there. Like I had talked about, I, I needed those jobs filled. I luckily had enough people contact me to fill all of them, so I really appreciate that, those people who applied. And if you applied a little too late and didn't get in, I'm really sorry, but I still appreciate you taking the time to do that. And as I had spoken about earlier, that they're going to start off as free positions that are eventually going to be paid for. And some people were like, how would you ever pay for them? Well, like I talked about in my message, it's something where you would need a PayPal account uh, that PayPal account would be then using the money that I earn from my YouTube channel, which I do earn money from it. Um, not a ton like people may imagine, but I do earn money. Um, and that money or revenue I earn on there is kind of like an extra income. And that's what I would be using to pay people to help me promote it. I don't really care too much about making a lot of money off of my website. It's not really that important to me as far as YouTube. But what is important to me is getting my messages out there, getting my videos out there. Uh, getting a larger audience and having more people see my videos because that's kind of the main reason we're on YouTube, is it not? I mean, to actually have an audience that's watching our stuff, otherwise, what's the point? So that's my main goal, and if I, you know, can have some people who help me out to do that, I definitely would want to pay them eventually, um, and I definitely would want to make it a position where, you know, people are doing more than just helping me promote for free because they're excited about the channel. I want it to be something that can earn them a little bit of income at the same time because I don't believe anybody should work for free. Anyway, that's just a quick update from me, Unrested. Until next time, this was Jay Vlog. Have a good one.